Hey guys, Jarek here. It's about 10 o'clock on Monday night, so sorry for the late video, but it is Monday, so it's time for your Airsoft Weekly Update number 10. We've been around for 10 weeks, so let's keep on going. A lot of cool airsoft news came out because last week over in Germany, IWA happened, which uh, pretty much I got all the news of that as I was uploading my weekly update last week, so sorry for the week late report, but uh, better late than never. Before we get into all the cool news and stuff, let's do a quick community update. Not much to be said, so I'll just blaze through this real quick. I'll be making videos of the Double Eagle M81 version 2 AEP this week. Overall pretty impressed with it, so yeah. USB AEP, if you want this, I'm selling it for $75 shipped. That's free shipping. I've already tried to make a teaser of this twice, and uh, the world seems determined for me to not make videos of this. As an example, the Sunday of St. Patrick's Day weekend, it was sunny, and uh, I was trying to make the video, and then it started absolutely hailing while it was still sunny outside with almost no clouds around. So hail came out of absolutely nowhere, just magically just poofed out of the sky. I don't know where it came from. And on top of that, once the hail finally stopped, every car driving by sounded like a freaking airplane because the ground was wet. And then real planes, private planes, started circling above my house, so the real too much sound background noise to actually make a video. And then the assholes next door turned on a generator because because they're renovating the house next door. So there was really no way for me to actually make a video. And uh, I, I point out the generator because they're renovating the house next door on the Sunday of St. Patrick's Day. Go home! But yeah, I'll get the videos done of this thing this week. If you hear a generator in the background, I apologize. There's really nothing I can do about that. But like I said, they're redoing my neighbor's house, so... Uh, there's gonna be some background noise. Hopefully there won't be, but there might be, so sorry about that. Anyway, point being, $75 shipped if you want this free shipping. The only other thing I have for sale, everything else is sold. The only other thing I have for sale is the WE L85 for $350. I have an update about this one, though, because in the review I said it doesn't have a working bolt catch. Uh, but I have news to say... It does have a working bolt catch. Push down on the button there. Uh, the reason I did not know this is because when the gun broke, it broke on the very first magazine I put through it. Part of the piston was pre-cracked, I did not know it, and the piston pretty much shattered and jammed itself inside the bolt. Well, part of that piston, part of the plastic wedged itself underneath the bolt release, so it didn't work for me until I looked and pulled it out. And I didn't do that until after I made the reviews and everything, so point being, Yes, the, uh, the bolt release does work on this. I didn't know it until recently, uh, only because that piece wedged itself under there, so technically it wasn't functioning for me until I cleared it out. But yes, it does work, and you can stop trying to correct me in the review, because I know, and people don't check the comments down below to the 10 people before them that said, hey, it does have a working bolt catch. But yeah, once again, WE L85, $350 shipped. If you want this, you can get it from me, and you know it's going to work. Uh, the, the way I actually found out that something was jammed underneath the bolt release was because I was cleaning it for whoever bought it. Well, whoever was going to buy it for the future because I've already done the videos and I don't need to shoot it anymore. And one last quick update about Airsoft towards my channel. Uh, two very common comments I get, actually three common comments I get is that one, how did you get the hole in the wall in the background? Because people always think it's a speck on their screen. I actually got that hole in the background when I tossed an M1 Grand onto my bed and the front, front post bounced off of the bed and lodged itself into the wall, so. That happened and I can't really do much about it. And uh, two of the most, a very common comment I've gotten the last week is people asking me, please do a review of the WE P226. I'll be honest, I really don't have any interest in that because one, KJW has pretty much a full P22 line out there. They already, already have a TM clone P226 if you want one of those. Pretty much the same quality and around the same price, if not a little bit better. And even better, KWA has a P226 for really not much more and it's worth saving up your money to get the KWA because in my opinion it is KWA's best pistol and in fact they don't even list it on their website because they want to keep it available for law enforcement and that is their main purpose for actually making the P226 is for the law enforcement to train with. It really is one of their best guns. I was actually very impressed with it when I got it and it seemed very reliable and didn't seem finicky like their Mac 11s or some of their other guns were so yeah. When it comes to P226s, I am perfectly happy with KWAs, and really there's not much more to say about that. With that said, the only way you'll see a review of the WE is if someone really, really wants it that badly and wants to buy it through me. Otherwise, I honestly just don't have any interest in it. And the third thing that people keep telling me is basically just in general, can you review this? Can you review that? I, I'm going to be honest here, and there's really no way to say this without sounding like an ass. I don't care if you want to see a review of something. When I review something, it's because I myself have personal interest in that gun. Um, 
The only way you are going to dictate what I review is if you want to buy something through me so I review it and then send it to you. Otherwise, please don't recommend me to do a review of something because that comment will end up getting removed and I really don't take that into account when I make videos. Once again, I don't mean to sound like an ass there, but I really don't have any other better way to say that. It's out of personal interest what I review and what I don't. And that's about all the personal updates. Actually, it lasted a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be, but let's move on to IWA. So a lot of new Airsoft stuff came out. Uh, why don't we go ahead and start with Real Sword because they had a lot of big news. One, their big news is that they were they are releasing... Oh, before I do any of this, uh, check out AATV. They were at the show. They were reporting there. You can see all the stuff and everything you need to know. AATV annotation here. Go ahead and subscribe to them. Pretty awesome dudes. And they were there if you want more in-depth coverage of this. I'm not going to cover everything because there's a lot of stuff to cover. Uh, but let's go ahead and start with Real Sword. Real Sword released, they are making a gas blowback SVD. Looks really cool, looks great, Real Sword quality, but there's one major issue with this 1,000 US dollars. I'm sorry, but unless Real Sword decides, hey, I'm gonna throw this at your face to review and then you send it back afterward, which I am open to, I don't see me ever picking this up because 1,000 is way, way, way too much for me to ever care about. However, they did have other cool news. They showed their Type 88 sniper rifle and their Type 88 LMG that they were going to release. They also showed some bigger news, kind of a surprise, that they were making a Scorpion, AEP Scorpion. I was kind of disappointed at first because I looked at it and I went, Real Sword Scorpion? Is this going to be a Gas Blow X Scorpion? Finally one that's not really fragile like the Maruzen, but... No, it's going to be an AAP Scorpion. Apparently, it's going to use a different battery. Maybe it might be a little bit different internally than the uh, Toki Maruri ones, but I don't know. They're making a Scorpion, and the biggest news, which actually really surprised me out of Real Sword, is that they are making a Sportline AUG, apparently going to be only around $200. Uh, I don't know much more about that, but hey, a new AUG out on the field that is... Uh, to be fair, there's, really, there's a bunch of okay AUGs that have come out, but nothing really amazing in terms of AUGs, so... Hey, who knows, maybe we can have a really good AUG. I mean, I can deal with the JG, the JG one is fine, but it's no real great real sword quality or anything, but let's just hope that it's uh, that it's okay and that it's good and I have interest in it. Of course, KWA was at IWA and they showed a lot of their stuff, like their Takarov, which they did not show at SHOT Show, so it's cool to see that for the first time. It's not done yet, it's still in prototype form, but you can see that. They released a bunch of other, another, a bunch of another. They released a bunch of other cool stuff, like their Gas Blowback AK and their Gas Blowback M4. They kind of showed all that stuff. I'll be honest though, I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about the AKs because I'm actually really happy with GHK's quality, which is why you haven't seen any reviews of WE AKs because you know I don't feel the need to get a WE if I can get the GHK. Uh, even if it is a little bit more money, I think it's, it's definitely worth it. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know how, about, how to feel about that, but there really some other stuff. Go ahead and check out AATV if you want to know all of that. Uh, there's some other stuff out there that I'm currently forgetting, and forgetting what it was. Oh yes, G&G. &G. G, G released a lot of really inter interesting stuff. Uh, they released their Electric Grand, which I mean, I've seen news about before, but I didn't know a lot about it. But now you can see it sort of in person, or at least in video in person, if you will. Um, Semi-automatic only, going to take a... Uh, magazine, short magazine through the bottom that's sitting flush with the gun and makes it look like an actual Garand. Uh, it looks like it's completely compatible with a version 7 gearbox like an M14. I'll be honest here, Garand's cool, but unless it's gas blowback, I, I'd rather just pick up an M14 because that's already been familiarized and you can use an actual magazine. I, don't, I think this is just supposed to be for the people that want to snipe with the Garand and just kind of want a Garand. It, it's cool and all, but I don't, myself, I just don't have much interest in it. With that said, I might review it. might look into it. g, &G also released something they're calling the MIT Tracer Unit, which does a buttload of different stuff. And the uh, It looks like a giant suppressor, basically. It looks like it has a laser in the front of it. It has a chronograph built in with an LED on the side. And it does a lot of different stuff. It does about five different things. And my personal opinion about that is that really cool but I don't want to take that out on the field because I don't want to break it <laughs> it's something it's one of those things where it's like I see that screen on the side that has to be either really reliable or I don't want to get it and it also simply just does way too much like it's something that I don't see me out on the field using it's something that looks really useful when you're sitting there maybe making reviews about it or testing your guns then it might be useful but I don't want to have this on my gun when I'm out on the field uh, but cool that they're kind of experimenting with it and trying new things. Some of it looks like it's aimed more towards law enforcement, so that's that's cool to see about. Um, but who knows? They're, they're trying new things, and I'm happy to see G&G's trying to be a little innovative. SRC was there and said they are releasing their own talker up and kind of showed it. 
They also showed they were releasing an MP40 variant with a full stock that I'm forgetting the actual name of. I think either MP38 or MP41, I forget which one it is called. Uh, my personal opinion about that is that I'd actually like to see the real SRC MP40 in America sometime because we really don't see it a lot. Like, you can find it, but it's kind of rare. Uh, and I'd like to see another MP40 because as of right now, all we have to deal with is the AGM, which is not bad, but you can have better. And the last thing is the Airsoft Systems, uh, Airsoft Systems, some new kind of upcoming thing. Looks like it works similar to a system of a little bit more practical, meaning it stops shooting when you're out of BBs in the magazine. You have to press the bolt catch to make it start working again. Uh, basically the cool innovative stuff that you'd seen at a system of, but looks like it's working in a little different of a way. Um, I don't know, it looks pretty cool, looks interesting, and who knows when that's coming out. It looks like that same technology will be put into the Scorpion Evo 3, so cool. All European made stuff, who knows, uh, you know, a lot of this is shrouded in mystery of whether it will be good or not. It's cool new stuff showing at a uh, airsoft show or showing at a show over in Germany, so who knows, we'll wait. And I'm sure I'm missing a metric butt ton of stuff that I have not updated you guys on, but again, if you wanna check out most of that, one, Google is your friend, and two, go ahead and check out AATV. They were there, they did a lot of updates. Uh, they actually have less subscribers than me, and, and to be completely honest, I kinda wanna see them gain more subscribers than I do, just, you know, just to show people that really deserve credit should get some credit. So, they're definitely one of those people that deserves a little bit more credit, and they're doing a lot of hard work, and I wanna see them get kinda a little bit more exposure. You've seen, I guarantee you, you've seen one or two of their videos here and there, but people don't really subscribe to them. They seem to have one of those problems where people have seen their videos but have not subscribed. Uh, so go ahead and check over, check over to them, subscribe to them. I don't talk to them, this isn't a collaboration or anything. Uh, just me pretty much saying they deserve a little bit more credit. Go ahead and check them out. That's about everything for this week's Airsoft Weekly Update. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow, for the Double Eagle M81 version 2 videos, and that's what I'll be focusing on this week. So, see you then. Half the time I find myself trying to find guns that I actually want to use. Or there's just too many guns I want to use. Stop shooting me. Oh! oh! Fucking dumbass Marine killed me! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's sunny outside and it's hailing in March. Look at how much blue sky is around. And it's hailing. And now it's hailing a lot harder. Okay, so uh, never mind on the video today. And now the sun's back. What the fuck?